Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I had a few requests to film the Chris Garver books that Keith got me for Christmas, so I am going to do that. Um, the first one that I'm going to do is this Flash Coloring in the Tattoo style. It has a really pretty, um, colorful cover with <clears throat> some raised embellishment on it, like this gold foiling is, um, kind of raised. It's really, really pretty. And then the back of it just has some thumbnails and a little bit about the artist. Um, it says $14.95 US on the price, but I know he probably purchased it from Hamilton Book or Book Outlet, um, so I'm sure it wasn't that expensive. I think these have been out for a while and they're in the discount. Yeah, it's got like a, a little black mark on the spine, like right here. So usually that's when you've purchased a book from a book uh, retailer that's discounted. They get You get that black line or a red line on the bottom of it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So here is the inside cover. Um, I guess you could probably color that if you wanted to. And this is just a little bit about uh, flash style art and uh, Chris Garver himself. I imagine these are probably pictures of tattoos that he's done. I don't, I don't know that for sure though, but. Um, and then it's got a little dedication um, and some more about uh, Chris Garver and his time on Miami Inc. Um, the publishing date is 2016 on this, so yeah. So I'll go ahead and just, I might zoom in just a tad because they're all, it's one-sided. Um, there we go. One-sided, and the paper is perforated. The pages are perforated, so you can tear them out. And the paper is relatively thick. I mean, it's probably like a medium, medium to lightweight cardstock. So you, um, you know, it's pretty substantial. You could use water mediums on there if you wanted to, so... just stuck together here. It's funny because I think I mentioned before that I didn't think that I would, you know, that I wanted um, any of these flash books because I've seen quite a few tattoo art books available for coloring and I didn't think that I was really interested in them and then I got these and some of these illustrations I'm very interested in doing that first page the um the very first one here I'm I'm really interested in coloring that one for sure and then I know there's more as I go along this one also I have um tattoos myself <laughs> some people are always surprised when they find that out about me they're I don't know why Maybe they think I don't seem like I'd be a tattooed person. <laughs> I actually have four of them. I used to have my nose pierced too, you guys. What do you think of that? <laughs> but I kept getting infected. I wasn't very good at it. At, at, well, it, it, because I wear makeup a lot and I think it got oil in there a lot and it made it get infected. So I ended up just taking it out. Cause it wasn't very comfortable and one time i was washing my face and um when i came like i was bent over the sink and i was splashing water on my face and when i went to bring my head up my nose ring caught on the edge of the faucet oh my gosh it bled and bled it was very painful <laughs> so so i don't think i had my nose ring for too long i don't even know if i had it a full year That's really pretty too i um when i saw that i thought a lot you could do a lot with that with the background shading in her hair and different stuff. And I do really like that these pages are perforated because this isn't a book that I would probably complete the whole thing. Um, I'm not too into coloring fish and dragons and there's a lot of that in tattoo art. But I like, you know, like the hearts and the flowers and the, the women figures um, for sure. So it's nice that I can just take this out. I like this one a lot too take the pages out and put them in my binder or frame them, whatever I want to do with them. That one's cool too. Let's 
This book is quite thick, though, because of the pages, the paper being so... Oh, yeah, I like skulls, too, so that's good. I think two of my tattoos came from flash art, and the other two were personalized. Ones that I had asked for that were... Um, different designs. I like this one a lot also. So the first one I had that was flash art was like a rose with some tribal art around it that's on my leg. And then um, I also have a grapevine on my lower back that has uh, grapes hanging from it. Um, that was flash art. And then I have two other ones that were inspired from Stephen King books. And so neither one of those are, um, you know, those were just two that I created on my own. Well, or take, taken from books. Uh, one was from the Dark Tower series and the other one was from Hearts in Atlantis. So if you're a Stephen King fan, you might can guess what they were. I like the mermaid. Even though I'm not like a big mermaid person, which is weird because, you know, Deborah Miller is like so all about the mermaids. I like this one a lot. Because she's not like super cutesy, you know. You need to attach a little baby to the bottom of, the <laughs> of that one. Like it's going to deliver a baby. And yeah, the pages are getting really thick now. Like cause they're... It's a dragon. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to turn it here so you can see... That's a dragon. It looks kind of like an Asian type dragon. Just flowers here. Ooh, I like that one a lot too. I really like that one a lot. More flowers. That reminds me of very like uh like twenties or thirties style with the head wrap and everything. A jaguar and a snake in a wrestling match. to smash them down right now. There we go. Koi fish. Koi fish are always really big in tattoo art books too. Butterfly page. Those would be pretty to cut out and use on something else. Leopard. I think that's the last one. Yep, that's the last of it. So that is the Flash Coloring in the Tattoo Style by Chris Garver. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.